I'm just trying to figure this out here. No, that's fine. When you see Kimberly, Sorry, tell you, we're just trying to figure this out. Kim, she's supposed to do that. Okay, can you hear us? Oh, no, 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 Hello? Yeah. Yay, it's working. Okay, we got it. Sorry, we lost. I wonder if that's what happened to our audio this morning. I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to find my student, and then we'll be in good shape. But she has this presentation to do here, so uh, hopefully we have it in a second. Let me try to look this one more time. No, we're, lo we're losing some of the audio again. Darn. Okay, let's see. <coughs> Oh, oh, good. Yeah, uh, Zach, get Zach in here, and I'll show you places. Zach, we'll have we'll have somebody talk, and then uh, I'm, I'll try to find what happened to her. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great. Yourself? I'm doing pretty good. So I'm seeing a slide saying my favorite things. What do y'all want to talk about today? Is this your slideshow, my favorite things? Right. Is that yours? Well, it's not mine, but it's one of my classmates on slideshows. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Zachary. What's yours? Sorry, can you say it one more time? It cut out for a second. We get most of the audio, just sometimes we lose it. All right. Now I said my name is Zachary. Oh, cut out. This is Naomi, and I'm Mrs. Miller. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, my name is uh, Cecilia. Hi, Cecilia. Okay, so, yeah, so this show is um, iconic for younger generations that are Hispanic and whatnot. So really the show is about like these high schoolers and stuff like that and like uh, just their career in school, I guess. But, huh? Rebelde? So, okay, so Pozole is like, I guess, I wouldn't say exactly soup, but the way that my mom makes it is that I just know. What are those? Okay. Yeah, I don't know, but I mean, usually it has like either chicken or pork, and so I mean, it's really, it's just really good, but. Okay, so um, this was one of the movies that I used to saw when I was a little kid. It was called The Freedom Riders, where these kids, like, they didn't really have a, the best classroom. They weren't well-behaved. But this one lady just showed up from the school one time, and she introduced them to a writing skill. They, she introduced them to how to write, how to discuss their topic, how do they see the world in their view. And then later on during the movie, they all felt glad that she was still there. So they hoped that she would stay in their school. And then later figured out that she was able to stay with them. Uh, I'm not a big pizza lover. Okay, so this is uh, one of my favorite meals right here. It's mostly a pizza meat lovers where we mostly, when you go to a pepperoni store, you just talk about, um, they ask you what type of pepperoni, what type of toppings do you want on your pizza? So I usually ask for the meat lovers, which has pepperoni, sausages, and bacon. 
And sometimes, sometimes I ask them for Canadian ham, and that's the best part about the pizza is when they add the Canadian ham, it's so smoky hot, it's not even funny. Do you guys have Canadian ham in y'all's place, or do y'all call it something different? We're, uh, we're losing a little bit of the audio, but if, I think you might ask us, do we have Meat Lovers Pizza here? Right. Yeah. We do have Meat Lovers Pizza here. Have you ever had Meat Lovers Pizza? Yeah. Okay. What it's, a popular, it's a popular one at our house. What, what do you call Canadian ham in Canada? Oh, <laughs> Canadian pizza? The ham, cheese, pineapple. Oh, that's Hawaiian. No, that's Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Canadian is ham. Bacon, pepperoni? Yeah. Ham, bacon, well, pepperoni. Is that something strange to have pineapple on your pizza there? Because, I mean, here it's like this whole debate thing about it. That's funny. What would you call ham, pepperoni, and bacon? Would you just call that meat lovers? We just call it meat lovers. But, but, they, but they call us, like they'll say Canadian bacon or Canadian ham on the Oh, okay. Pizza. And I was just wondering, in Canada, do they call it Canadian bacon or Canadian ham? Oh, we just, no, I think it's just regular ham. Like, we do have, like, pea mill bacon. Are you familiar with that? No, no, tell, no, tell us. So, like, there's strippy bacon, like, long strips of bacon, but then there's pea mill, which actually just looks like kind of round slices of ham. So, yeah. Google that when you're done chatting. That's pea mill bacon, P-E-A-M-E-A-L. Okay. Pea mill bacon. It's a um, Canadian tradition. Right, we call that Canadian. Although I don't think we all eat it all that much. <laughs> That's what we call it. You, yeah. you do it a lot? We probably have it once a month, every couple months. Wow, that's good. Okay. That's, it's interesting because when we talk to people from Poland, we, we have Polish pickles, but they don't eat Polish pickles in Poland. They, they, don't, they don't eat that many <laughs> pickles. So now we know that you don't eat Canadian bacon in Canada. <laughs> Oh, we caught most of that. We missed the last tail bit. It, it's funny. We keep getting, you see it when it comes up on our screen where it says internet unstable. Okay. okay. Hopefully, it'll, hopefully it'll pick up as we go. But keep going. We catch things, most of it, and then all of a sudden we lose a little bit. So we'll let you know if we don't catch something. So, I mean, lemonade, lemonade is always awesome for like a sunny day outside, you know, like to just cool off and stuff and, and like lemon or lime and water. Are you still sitting? Oh yeah, we do make a lot of uh, fresh lemonade. Most of it is like homemade and stuff. Huh? Ask him, uh, uh, Dan, do you guys make your own lemonade? Yeah. See that word? Do we make our own lemonade? Right. What? Oh, we lost that last bit. Yeah, I think that's what they said. Yeah. Do you guys make your own lemonade? Yeah. No. I don't. We buy it from a can, a concentrated can, and add water. Oh, so that's quite interesting. Yeah, uh, it's kind of common to like, stores here to have many displays of lemons and, and limes, and then people would buy them fresh, and then they would squeeze them or whatever, and they make their own lemonade. A lot, and so also we would have them all throughout the year because. Uh, uh, we're not that far from uh, Mexico where limes and, and uh, lemons are grown, uh, I guess, all seasons. Okay. Excellent. So you do you have lemon trees in Texas? Uh, in South yes. Texas, yeah, well, South West, they will have lemon trees. Because we're used to lemons and oranges coming from Florida. Yeah, uh, South Texas was really large in citrus fruits. And then what's happened is the population of South Texas has uh, mushroomed and a lot of the people are taking over what used to be the uh, uh, land that they were cultivating crops on. It's kind of like California. You know, California one time was all full of orange groves and stuff and many of the orange groves are now a uh, uh, place where people live. Please, Miss Headland, room 135B. Okay, next one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yum. Favorite ice cream. Yeah, cookies and cream is pretty good. I, I think I personally prefer buttered pecan. I, I, I think, yeah. Exactly. Uh, personally, my favorite ice cream is probably cookies and cream or birthday cake from Bluebells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite ice cream? 
what did they, did they ask us our favorite ice cream? My boys, I have three young boys. I'm Mrs. Miller over here. Five, three, and one. And they actually had cookies and cream ice cream yesterday. It was a hot day yesterday. Kind of hot. Yeah. Hot for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, um, now, when you say hot, uh, how high is it? How hot? Well, yesterday would have been 18 degrees Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> so 18 degrees Celsius. What's that in Fahrenheit? I'm thinking maybe 70s? Yeah. Wow. That, that's, that, that's considered cold for us, I think. <laughs> cold old. Yeah. Uh, we might would have actually 90 degree temperatures any time during uh, any month. Oh, 90 degrees. Wow, so that's like an hour. Yeah, and 90, in the yep. summertime, 90 is normally like the low, and then sometimes it gets like un, unbearable in 110, 115. And we've had, we've had summers here where we had like 100 degree oh, temperatures uh, 50, 60 days in a row. Wow. Continue. So Naomi just said that her grandma's from Texas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What part of Texas is she from? San Antonio. Oh, yeah. Oh. We, I live about four, uh, 50 minutes north of uh, San Antonio. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, we go to San Antonio quite frequently. Austin's probably 70 miles from, or 80, 90 miles, I guess, knowing part of Austin. That's cool. Uh, we're right at about two and a half million people here in Austin. Austin area. Okay, can you do the next one? Is that it? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, I I had another one, and she was going to try to say, why don't you just tell about your favorite foods that you like my to cook? Um, some of my favorite foods. Uh, okay, so my my mom has a lot of dishes, which I I don't know for whatever reason I can't exactly remember, but. One of my favorites, it's like, they're meatballs, but she makes them in salsa. Um, they're, they're just really good. Um, I don't know exactly how she makes them, but they're pretty good. Um, Can you explain it with salsa? Uh, you just like, what? Do you, do you, you? <laughs> Miller, do you guys have salsa much for anything? Yeah, we do have lots of salsa. But I would say salsa, we usually get it out of a jar, I would say. We don't usually make our own fresh salsa. It's not as good. Oh. Yeah, my mom, she'll make it. Yeah. Mo like most it. everybody around here will make their own salsa. And do you guys eat a lot of peppers? Usually with salsa. What would we have salsa with? Some people might eat it with their eggs. Other people would really? have it with some people. But I'd say I mainly know. if you're having any kind of tacos yeah. or nachos. Chips. Chips. Chips and salsa. Okay. And uh, what is your uh, favorite type of... Uh, you like crunchy tacos or do you like the uh, soft, tacos. soft tacos? Crunchy. Vote for crunchy. Hands up for crunchy. I think we're all, yeah, yeah. crunchy. I think they're all crunchy. I'm soft tortillas and they like crunchy. Okay. And do you like corn tortillas or wheat tortillas? I'm all about corn tortillas. Corn, me too. Corn, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And it's really kind of interesting because uh, in most of Mexico, corn tortillas are pretty much standard. But when you come to a lot of our Tex-Mex food, that's kind of a combination of, uh, of uh, Texas culture. Tex okay, Tex-Mex is not true Mexican, but it, it, it's more traditional from where we're at. And you probably would see a lot more uh, tortillas that are uh, wheat, flour tortillas, than you would yeah. see corn. But if you go to Mexico, you'll see the opposite. Now, the tortilla chip, was uh was there's uh, all kinds of uh, claims to fame on how that was started, but it's a deep fried a uh, a tortilla. Yeah. Mm, interesting. We made our tortillas. I think about a month ago in this class. Uh huh. We, we made corn, and I don't even know if our recipe was. It was kind of thick the way it came out, so I think we needed to roll them a lot thinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we and if we're going to try one of your recipes on Friday, we're going to have a look at the classroom. Have you ever made lefsa? Oh, sorry, say that again, Mr. Cunningham. Have you ever made lefsa? It's a Norwegian, like, potato uh, tortilla. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's actually really kind of interesting, but it's made out of potatoes, and then, and then they would cook it like a... Uh, or like a flatbread, and then you would put meat and stuff in it, roll it up, and you'd eat it in that. 
uh, much of uh, what the kids would eat would be breakfast tacos here. Oh yeah. And it's explain to them about breakfast tacos. Well, I mean, it's I mean it. It's a big thing here. Uh, usually, uh, you can see like maybe like breakfast low tacos. So it can like consist of like egg, bacon, best friend in Texas used to uh, beans if not beans and cheese, uh, sausage and egg. Chorizo. I don't know how to pronounce it. Chorizo. Sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, uh, and people would normally buy one or two or maybe three and eat it for breakfast, but they would they would traditionally have that for breakfast. That would be one of our more popular breakfasts. And most of the fast food places, they'll come for breakfast, will sell breakfast tacos. And little stands on the side of the road will sell breakfast tacos. So we're in an area to where uh, many of the students would probably eat a breakfast taco for breakfast if they're at home. That's interesting. And it would be normally flour. I don't see too many corn. Yeah, I usually it's flour for breakfast. Yeah. I don't see and it. You don't usually use it. And if you go to Mexico and you even go to some of our major stores, they'll have a, uh, they'll have a machine that will make tortillas for you and you get them really nice and oh. uh, hot and they're really <laughs> yeah. good. They'll sell to you like in Mexico in a paper bag and uh, they're delicious. You, you, you go down and you would be a line of people waiting any time they have. It's like going to a bakery and get fresh bread. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I lived on the border twice in my life, and it was really enjoyable, but we'd always line up to go get Cokes, uh, Coca-Cola plants in Mexico. Have you, have you ever drank a Mexican Coke? A Mexican Coke? Yeah. No, we haven't. You need to. Uh, the, the, reason, the reason I said that Mexico is actually the leading producer of Coke in the world, Coca-Cola. And uh, so you say soda, we say pop. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. But in the in the Coca-Cola products, the American cola, uh, Coca-Cola has a real bad aftertaste, and it's got uh, high fructose corn syrup in it, where the Mexican right. Coke is got the sugar. And if I tell you something else that you would like, should do sometimes, just a suggestion is that if you have a store that will actually sell you Mexican sugar, if you can look at the sugar, the sugar that they will buy in Mexico compared to our American sugar, our American sugar is really nice and white and refined. The Mexican sugar is huge granules, uh, part brown, it kind of almost looks like uh, brown sugar, but boy, is it delicious. It really makes uh, things cook a lot better. They sell that here, they call it raw sugar. Yeah, that would probably be close to that. Uh, you would buy it in bulk. You can, you can like, if you go to uh, stores in Mexico, you, you would buy it in kilos, and, um, and you would buy it in large bulk, and people would do it, but it's very, it's, I wouldn't even know how to explain, but it would be a lot, it's probably a lot more healthy for you. But that's how you could go to the Coke plants and in, in Mexico, just like you could go to the uh, pharmacies and you can get medicines, you can go to the Coke plant and I can buy Coca-Cola for the same price as uh, they would sell to the store. So people would just go right to the Coca-Cola plant. Is Mexico a trip that you typically make? You go there? Once a year, multiple times a year. Well, the, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay. Now, I, you know, it, it, I used to live that. I'll just tell you myself before we let anybody else say anything because I'm like, I'll be fry, uh, we're videoing. But when I used to live on the border, and this was many years ago, I would, I lived maybe my school was where I taught was a mile and a half from Mexico. And we would go to Mexico probably on a daily basis and, and do shopping and stuff. Now today, because of a lot of other issues, going back and forth is no longer really the same as it was back in, in the day. And also back in the late 80s, there was some inflation issues in Mexico that was uh, that were horrendous. Uh, the peso went up to over 3200 per dollar. And uh, if you had dollars and you went to Mexico, you were you could buy all kinds of products. So people a lot of times would go over just to buy food and stuff. 
but it was really difficult for the people that were paying in peso to, to keep up. Let me ask these ladies, have you ever been to Mexico? No, I want to. No. None of these. I've been to Mexico, but these ladies have Really? Mm -hmm. I, I never I wanted to. Where'd you go? So your mom's best friend has access to? Yeah, them. because she's Mexican. And she always used to go there because we used to live in Texas. Oh, here we go. Where'd you live in Texas? Uh, Dallas. Dallas. Okay, look at this. this oh, and I always going to Texas this summer. Look at that. You'll have to stop by Del Valley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're probably three hours. And I always go in Right. Yeah, but it, it's not all that bad because we're just on the interstate. So, I mean, you, you could possibly make it. Um, <laughs> oh. the, uh, Texas is huge. I mean, you can travel to like El Paso and you are you go almost to distance to go into Chicago and you can't even get out of our state. Wow. How far like, driving is it from tip to, I guess, the very tip to the top there? How long would okay. that Actually, I think the biggest way to go, either you go from, uh, if you go north of Amarillo to, at, the, at the border down to uh, Donna or, or somebody, uh, uh, Farwan or McAllen down there, it's really large. And then the other trip that's really huge is the opposite we way. Texas. Orange We're not familiar with Texas. El <laughs> We know that is Dallas in the middle? Yes. Houston in the middle. Houston is not, not, Houston is not in the middle. Houston's in the, uh, okay, what happened? Oh, there we go. Why don't you get in here? There you go. Thank you. How far do you live from Toronto? How far are we from Toronto? Mm -hmm. Two hours, so, uh, two hours drive. Two hour drive. Oh, okay. Do you ever go see any like uh, Blue Jays games or? Yeah. No, not yet. Not. I have. I've seen. I'm not even a Blue Jays fan. <laughs> no. Okay. What What is the most popular sports in Canada uh, now? Uh, hockey. <laughs> really? Because I, I, I'm always amazed because it seems like so many people are not natural to Canada that they pick up hockey, but hockey is really good. Yeah. 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 Do, do any of you guys play? Uh, do they, how good? Uh, I'll put this way. How many, uh, what kind of team do you have for your high school for hockey team? We have a girls and a boys hockey team. Wow. Yeah, we don't have a baseball team though. Do we? Have no. no, we don't. No baseball here. Have a hockey. We and how long did your team? hockey season last? Yeah. Sorry, I think we missed it. Do you have a hockey team? Oh, no, no. we don't. No. <laughs> uh, we, we have boys and girls soccer, which uh, would probably be the closest thing we have. We don't have hockey. <laughs> they do have lacrosse in uh, some of the areas around here. It's yeah. really popular. What about field hockey? No, no the, the closest the thing we had to field hockey would be lacrosse, mm -hmm. and that would have to be in a neighboring school district. Okay. All right. So Martha, Martha's in the middle. I'm going to give a little wave. She's here. You came to Canada in September, right? Yeah. So she's from where in Africa? Nigeria. Nigeria. She's from Nigeria. So she just arrived. Oh, wow. Her um, mom is studying at the University of Western Ontario. So UWO, which is a local university. So she's fairly new to Canada herself. <laughs> so she has a bit of a different perspective on food and culture than the rest of us who have lived here most of our lives. Yeah, we, we used to talk to a lot of schools in Nigeria. What part of Nigeria are you from? Um, Lagos. Yeah, from Lagos. Are you from Nigeria as well? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, both of them are from Nigeria. Sorry. The other one, we adopted her for the, for the lunch period. She came in to say hello. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's nice. Wonderful. So do you guys have any questions for them? How hot is it there today? Um, it's fairly cool today. Yeah, it's just that it's like. I think we're going to get a high of maybe 83. What's well, supposed to rain today? Yeah, so, and we had a cold front came through and we had a lot of rain yesterday. Yeah. And then sometime this evening it's supposed to clear off, and then tomorrow and the next day we'll be in the 90s somewhere. Oh my God. So we, we will be.
fairly cool for us, but you know, uh, we this is pretty much our rainy type of year, getting towards the end of rainy type, and then when it comes into June, July, and August, it just gets hot with. Uh, it looks like it may rain, but it, it just it, 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 it fits you out. You know, they'll tell you every day well, it's, it's going to be 100, 110, or whatever, and then that's it. That is so hot. You just said when the cold front came in at 90, we all just were like groaned. We couldn't believe that. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it, it's relatively colder. So you, you have like, uh, we have some really bad storms that would come in at like hail or tornado, tornadic activities. And then we're at the very southern part. Normally, tornadoes normally come north of us, but they've been several devastating tornadoes in, in our area, uh, you know, over the period of years. But uh, you get towards Dallas and north of Dallas towards Oklahoma, you know, it's very common for uh, tornado, tornadic activity. We don't have basements in our part of the country, though. So a lot of people, if you do get hit, it's, it's not, it's uh, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, we're fortunate that we have basements here. We haven't had a ton of tornado threats around here. So how much Chicago area there would be how much does your gas cost you right What's now gas, uh, gas is okay Petro. So per liter so there's ours is a dollar eight right now canadian and that there's four liters in a gallon so that would be like four dollars about four fifty four dollars and fifty cents canadian and that and then that's what still 75 cents to a dollar yeah oh, yeah probably so yeah, 75 cents yeah yeah see right now uh our gas guy had a little bit of a boom, but I know uh, coming home from church the other day, they were selling some for a dollar ninety-seven a gallon. So you know it, it's right around a two-dollar gallon mark. That's like fifty cents American, so that would be like Whoa. seventy-five cents. I'd be like half, not quite half, but like a third of them. Yeah, how much is your milk? A gallon of milk. A gallon. Okay, we're by. What do we do? A gallon. So two liters is. Probably oh. Four dollars. So, well, per gallon, it would probably be six dollars. Probably six dollars per gallon. Wow. That's, that's lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, ours is yeah, ours a lot cheaper. Where that would be organic milk, and it's yeah. some kind of a, a exotic organic milk. I think normally around three dollars. How about for just a loaf of bread? Uh, cheap would be two dollars. Regular maybe four dollars. Somewhere between two and four dollars. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's getting close to about the same price. Yeah, our milk I w is quite more, like, way more expensive than yours. We have friends that would, even with the exchange, drive across the border. Because the border is only 75, no, about an hour. An hour to get to Port Huron, which is in Michigan. Oh, wow, yeah. So we have friends that would drive across the border to buy gallons and gallons of milk if they have a family that drinks a lot of milk because it's so much cheaper. Elena Hanson, Olivia Blasco, Bella Sharma, Jermaine Alphonse, please. But yeah, milk is definitely more expensive here. Yeah, that's really kind of interesting. Now, what other staple products would, how about butter? How much does butter cost there? Or do most of your people use margarine? What? How much would a pound of butter cost? A little pound of butter. What the heck? That's so What's a pound of butter? I don't even know what a pound of butter would be. Like for a, like we have like a two cups. Usually like three, yeah. four dollars. $4 on sale for two cups. Yeah. So. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, now, how much would, like, uh, do you sell sugar in the kilos, or do you sell sugar? Uh, it's all metric, correct? Yeah. Oh, uh, like, yeah, that would be, uh, so a kilo, a kilo of, maybe, like, three. Yeah. I, I it's, like, $6. Not that much. Okay, it depends if you're on sale. So I always buy stuff on sale, but probably, yeah, somewhere around, it's, like, three to six dollars yeah okay that's canadian dollars all right yeah so yeah, okay yeah okay no I, that, that would make some sense because <laughs> our butter prices have gone up ridiculous over the last couple of years and like ice creams do you sell ice cream by the two liters or the a liter and a quarter or a liter and a half or whatever how much would that cost for just like a i'm trying to think four dollars maybe I don't, I don't buy ice cream. Four to six dollars. Probably same four to six dollars. Depends on the same price. And how about like drinks of like uh, sodas and stuff? How much are sodas? 
Like a two liter? liter? Yeah, like a two liter. Two liter bottle would be on sale a dollar or two dollars? Yeah. For Canadian, that's really cheap. At Walmart? And How about really? chips? Oh, you have Walmart? Yeah. Oh, we have Walmart. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they actually closed in a, a lot of stores. I was, I was how, we how, have Target, but they closed. Yeah, we don't know. have Target anymore. You don't have Target? Oh, the North 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 coming. Oh, yeah, they don't have Target. <laughs> McDonald's. The girls are eating some McDonald's right now as we speak. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, how much is like a, a Big Mac or what's a... I know this one. It's <laughs> you know the Big Mac. Okay. How much is Big Mac here? A Big Mac for just a Big Mac, it's five dollars, and for the meal, it's six dollars seventy nine cents. Wow! <laughs> yeah. but how much is it for you? It's how much? It's probably about the same price, I guess. Uh, in Chicago, they're, they're, both of those are pushing near ten, uh, but. I don't ever eat at McDonald's anymore, so uh, it's uh, hard for me. You don't have a dollar menu anymore, I don't think, do you? No, it's like a dollar. What's our dollar menu? Our value menu is like two dollars. It's like a two dollar value menu now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I think we went up to like a dollar and a half or something. So that'd be yeah, we probably. Like, we saw like a one dollar, but it's like it goes up to like two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they're really merging on that now. Uh, how much would it cost to go to the movies there in? How much do you go to the Um, It's $13.99 for kids up to 13 and older. And for kids lower, it's $11. Wow. Because you can still, there's uh, tickets over by where we live at Evo Theater. You can still go to movies for $5. Wow. That's cheap. And the food is so expensive. Food is very popcorn, uh, oh, no. We sell concession stands at the Irwin Center, and I would, uh, for <laughs> fundraisers, and the popcorn is, oh my gosh, it's like movie prices, but it's like six and seven, eight dollars, and drinks are totally outrageous, yeah, so you can fire. spend a lot of money in concession. Uh, what do you think about... Our bell's going to ring shortly, so we might have to wrap up, unfortunately. Okay, there's no problem. So Thank you so much. You. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good meal. May all your meals be happy.